Lawrence Fernandez slow to get up for Clemson. Now referee Tad Levick will let him play on. And, and, and try and get something behind Clemson. JG long arching cross now off the head. With now four substitutions being made by the Tigers. As Kamarni Smith, we mentioned a few moments ago, has now checked into the game along with Tanner Dietrich, the senior from Nashville, Robbie Robinson, as well as Alvaro Go. And that Fordham now has to play in order to get back in the game. It's going to open up the midfield. It's going to open up playing. Clemson's just going to stick to how they've been playing all season and, and try and work that midfield and use their strikers and front runners who are threats and, and get more goals. Yeah, Gooch, it's one of the interesting things about this Clemson team and their approach to the game. A lot of times you'll see a team. Speaking of Valencia, got their Champions League group stage campaign off to a fine start today, beating Chelsea on the road at Stamford Bridge. Exciting time of year if you're a soccer fan. You got the Champions League. Been a frustrating night for him. Not getting on the ball. Mbai climbing the ladder for that one. Clemson has lost a little bit of their gas, you know, because they were pushing hard to get over that 1-0 deficit. Oh, and it's going to be an own goal off the head. Trying to keep their flawless record alive here at home. 5-0 and to start the season. Tied at 2 as that ball comes across. He's already hit two dangerous crosses in the last 10 minutes. Gomez, Smith, and cleared away by the rain. Sitting on top of the box. Asensio serves it in. Smith trying to turn. Kamarni Smith in the box. Looking to go to the touchline. And Slaus is going to clear that one. Barber against Slaus. Turns him inside. Barber from the same spot. The injury, which is not going to keep him out long. I'm certain he'll be ready for Ohio State. Just things like that. But you can't. I assume uh, our referee uh, was in a position. Nicholas Balsert, that, uh, where he didn't have a good look at it. Not going to play for Rutgers. A selection committee will not care about that when they look at these. Two. More of a pace to this match now over the last five or ten minutes. Cabrera turns around and taps it to Temple. And here is Temple. Back into space for Avila. Avila, that's blocked once again. He prevents the clearance, though, Avila does. And now here's Crothers. I just Part of it is preservation for the weekend at Ohio State. You've got to travel, which adds to the, well, training load, or I would just say load, you know, all and not gotten. Well, oh well. <laughs> That's what they Play on, too. gents. Yeah, it's Play on. Curling ball in. Rutgers coach Jim McKeldry earlier this month about the mentality in these last 10 minutes or so in a match that's tied. Now, Rutgers had... Now I can see Temple calling for the ball on the left side of the pitch. But Fordham clogging in the middle. To win for either side would be a big result. Myers sharing with Abby, who shot is blocked right at the top of the Investigation to the broadcast this afternoon. I'm Dan Bentlock with you, and the round of four is underway.
here in the A-10 Men's Soccer Championship semifinals between St. Louis and Fordham. Bilkins in their white tops, white trunks, and the blue socks. Fordham in the all maroon going left to right. These socials for the Atlantic 10 as John Klein gathers a ball in. Played forward for Mason Leith. Trying to find Simon Pesher, but it not enough bend on it. And it's Pecher. So we are late here in the first half. Final minute 25. Or air underneath mm -hmm. that to get it more towards the crossbar, but here comes Isaiah Parker and the Bilkins back on it. Parker fakes a shot, defended away by Slaus, loose, and the so Bilkins just trying to crack this defense for Fordham, seemingly having eight to nine players mm -hmm. always behind the ball. It always seems always behind the ball and quickly behind the ball. I <laughs> pretty do yeah. all the running. Yeah. Here's Buendia. Good cut by Slaus, reading that play. Parker on it. Palazzolo. It's Betcher. Oh, Marana. Oh, nice pass in for Sternberg. Sternberg trying to get it across, still with it, to the end line. And a corner kick coming for St. Louis. Eats so he could run at people. Try and go over the top here. Ball in for Klein. Oh, miscommunication between official, or excuse me, keeper. Off the corner. Miss kicked initially. Bouncing through. Vaughn back towards goal. For Marana. Threatening here are the Bilkins. Lofted into the box. Headed away, though. And the Rams will get Papasada back on the ball. Good bit of skill as Jack Slack. Some top talent at home. Stoyanovic trying to break through the Fordham defense, unable to do so. And now looking at some of these long balls. I mean, there, there's a situation where Schulte is teeing it up as the goalie and still being able to find number seven. Yeah, he's, he's, he's running, he's, you know, perpetual motion, as you said, at, at this point. But, but right to Fatazana. Plays out to Slaus. His ball in. Pig like Greasy. Comes to goal and was able to find that, that go-ahead goal and what would be the game winner. And here, Fordham down one nothing at halftime, and almost possession plays back to Slaus. Pingrazi. Oh, it's great Sloan. hit! Great hit! Level, but I, I think when you have a situation like they did in the first half, an own goal, uh, it, it's just so deflating as Buendia able to bring down. I fear in the semifinal game, he has been a super sub. Leith trying to get that to his left foot. Comes back to Buendia. Vaughn able to deal. There's Klein. He's been quiet here in the second half. Buendia. Betcher. Oh, nice play by Slaus and defending. I mean, that was Ian. Because uh, you think here inside of 10 minutes, you're looking for a chance. Not necessarily looking for a penalty, but boy, St. Louis. A hard challenge, but it's certainly a foul. Anywhere else on the field than it would be given as a free kick. Trying to play up the Betcher. Leith able to get control. Klein trying to settle at the top of the box. Goes to the Betcher. Slaus was able to get a foot to it. has tasted defeat and same thing for Fordham. Fordham hasn't lost a match since you know March. They have not
I'm just past midfield. Marshall on it. Thunder and Kern are right back in a scoring opportunity, a scoring position, but Fordham there to take over. All season long, continuing here in the postseason, trying to back up that scoring goal from earlier. And who is it again? It's Milo Yosef. Yosef was almost there for another scoring opportunity. Lev Try to get a shot on goal. Goalkeeper for the herd, Simla, has not been tested thus far. Want to get a shot on goal just to test his medal. Fordham had Slouse and Golden that time. And here's an opportunity for the Rams. Max Rogers is down there. Now we you could take your eye off of the field for a second and then, you know, boom, it's a goal being scored. So you want to remain focused. You want to keep your defense solid. If you're Marshall, you played great here in this first half and can take a one nil lead into the break, but you don't want to give up anything cheap and easy as the first half winds down. And another goal after the uh, the brevity of goals so far this season for Rodgers. Three seconds. Taff, you want to be careful to not allow anything if you're Marshall. Stand tall down there with Simla on the other side. Here is Jack Slaus for Fordham. What a big kick from Slaus. Puts it down there and then maybe he'll get something to go. It rolls into the minutes and again that intensity is going to go through the roof Damien I see you've got to let out an exhale there as well here's a chance that one fly 114 remaining this could break the deadlock Sloan sends it away softly connecting down there with Jack Slouse who was close to 